Hey everyone. Hey. I'm Alfred. And I'm Sarah. Uh, welcome back to goddamn motherfucking Half-Life. Yeah, and I'm actually in person now. It, finally, my wife is in person with me again. I'm overjoyed, in fact. Um, so I've forgotten completely where we are. <laughs> Great. Good start, in fact. Um, oh man, I have to get back into it. I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, oh god, how do I record with my face? So, do you remember here? where we were in Half Life? Hmm. Good answer. Yeah, no, I don't think I do. Okay. I, okay, I remember you having a lot of troubles when it came to the lake area. The not the lake, helicopter? the helicopter. Yeah, you were very angry at the helicopter. I was very. I was very upset with that fucking helicopter. <laughs> it's right after the rail level. It's such a fucking problem. How am I doing? Is this the right way? I don't really think it is. No, I don't think so. Somehow, I think you're right. Okay. Go! Oh, um, I wanted to tell you, so Mark recently played a game called, like, Security Booth or something. Yeah. And... It's basically like your security guard as the whole Black Mesa shit goes down. Oh, that's fun. So fun, so fun. I should say that there is a Half-Life expansion on Jesus! If you ever wanted to feel like Mussolini, boy, well, I got the game for you. That's a fault. No one's going to get that. fucking grenade just at my tits. What difficulty are you on? I don't know. Let me check that. Because I've been having a lot of problems. Let me see if I can even... <laughs> it shows Ultra Baby Easy Mode. It <laughs> <laughs> uh, doesn't tell me. Yeah. I would have to start over from the beginning if I wanted to change my difficulty. Wait, a hole. Go in, Gordon! Oh, home, Gordon. Home base. So, at the Black Mesa place zone. How? What happened there? Man, this was not a good place to get thrown in. No, it wasn't. The fucking hell. Are you supposed to go into that hole? I don't know. Oh, maybe. God. I hate, like, seeing your own limbs fall before you. All right, in the interest of my time, because I really don't even remember where I am, I turned on God mode. Uh, sue me. So I figured out what happened as well. Somebody tossed a little grenade down there. I saw it in one of the in one of the frozen times. Um, but yeah, this. Okay, so you are supposed to go down there though. Or am I? But yeah, suffice to say, this section is a fucking slog. This is um, you know, off talked about. I feel like I came up this way. I feel like you've been here before. It's also a lot harder to get on these than it is to get, nope, to get off of. Harder going down than up. How about that? Ooh, your knees. Don't worry, I'm invulnerable. No, I feel like you've been here before. I've definitely been here, yeah. Yep, da da. Wait, will this kill me? <laughs> it will. He escaped. Whoops. How about I that? Oh, the tank is here. That that, that can't be helping. So, um, I, I mentioned Half Life Source here and there. Mm -hmm. And one of the things about Half Life Source is that it changes a lot of very specific parameters about the original Half Life. And some of those completely bonk the main game. Like, for example, uh, you can just shoot this tank to death. Which is definitely, definitely not intended. Uh, it is so, so not intended for you to be able to shoot a tank to death. Now, if I get this... I I feel like this isn't the right way either. Hmm. hmm. 
the way forward is like probably staring us in the face. Oh yeah. That's not Have a... you played this game before? You? Yeah, I've played all this the way through. Game. Yes, but not in a while. Okay. Like maybe like it's been a couple of years. Maybe. Oh, this door opened. Oh, so you're supposed to kill everyone. Yeah. And maybe that's the, that's the door that opens when you kill everyone? No, I think it was that because I hit that little button. Okay, okay. Pardon me, sir. So yeah, in Half-Life Source, the sort of remake of this game, you can just uh, shoot these things to death. In this, you must... In this, you must uh, use explosive damage to kill them. Dead stare. Ross Scott makes the point that, like, small arms should not do shit against Freeman's armor. And you know what? It's a valid idea. Well, this doesn't go anywhere. I guess this is just a little stock up. Hmm. In case you wanted a little more challenge. You know, I think this is just how Freeman is all the time. Yeah. Like, this is can can canonical <laughs> for him to be in god mode. Okay, but you gotta know you're a badass if they send that guy after you. Yeah, these are actual soldiers. Um. Oh yeah, I'm standing in mines. Scientists are just that cool, guys. Scientists are cool when they get to use science to beef themselves up. Like, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna turn off jot mode. I'm also going to hard save. All right. So how far are we? Uh, we're getting close to the end, actually. Ooh. No people can see you, Shimmy. Oh, right. Just letting you know. Sorry, I got a little, a little excited. Whoa. Okay, what had just happened there? Uh, some shit's falling on my head. Help me! Somebody, help He's like, help, and you're like, ooh, a weapon. <laughs> well, I don't know if you saw what happened, but I got hit by a sniper. <laughs> oh, I'm getting sniffly. Oh boy. Quickly, Freeman, go. So, um, yeah, in case you don't remember, where's oh. the killing? Please help me. I'm, I'm dying. He's still alive! <laughs> mercy shotgunning. A mercy non-fatal killing. Here. You're just trying to get him into Valhalla. Yeah. That's how it works, you know? Like if you're if you're some like old ass man who's lived a good life, but you're about to die like a, a good death, that's busted. Um, like tough fucking shit. You know, that's why the Norse had to like just like go find a like shitty annoying kid and just mouth off to him. You know, just piss somebody off enough until they whip out that sword and get this thing over with. You know. But enough about my ex-boyfriend. I'm a weak man. La da da. Fucking blowing up all the mines, getting shot by snipers. What is that coming from? Oh, uh, uh, power. Oh wait, are you in God mode again? Yeah. That's why I said I'm a Couldn't take man. the heat. I couldn't. This part's annoying. Um, For Half-Life 2, I will not be using God Mode at all. Not a single time. Especially because she doesn't know how to turn it on. Yeah, yeah that's probably it. Uh, I also will not allow her to. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you're on my computer. <laughs> when are we playing Half-Life 2? Uh... Good question. Oh, I've hopped down here. Whoops. Oh, yeah. I can just stick my dick into those all I want. 
Um, but yeah, one thing about the playthrough of Half-Life 1, such as it is, such as I've disgraced it by running through here, whipping my dick out, helicoptering people, uh, and running around, digging around in God mode. But the point here is, I wanted Sarah to play Half-Life 2 no matter what. But Half-Life 2 is a bit removed from context. Um, and... I, I've also, you know, I've never played a Half-Life before, and so I assume that you played Half-Life in your first time, you didn't use God mode? Yeah. Yeah, so I think it breaks the spirit to do God mode when you've, you know, are doing it for the first time. You just don't get the first, you know, terrible experience. I will say, if you guys want to see, like, a really, really good, like, classic-ass fucking Half-Life LP, uh, go look up this lady named Soldier Hawk. She's been doing LPs for, like, I think, like, a decade now. Uh, and she did, like, a full-on, like, blind LP of Half-Life 1. And it's, it's one of my favorite LPs of Half-Life 1. Uh, also, Wooly has an LP of Black Mesa. Um, sir, you don't know very much about Black Mesa. No. So it's obviously the name of this facility. They're the Resident Evil... Sorry, they're the Umbrella Corporation of the, um, of the Half-Life world. Yeah, kind of. But there's also that other company, right? Uh, Aperture. Aperture. Okay, which one's the big bad? Black Mesa, right? They're chaotic versus, uh, lawful. Mm, okay. So personally, I hear chaotic, and I'm like, I like those guys better, because at least you know their intentions. Well, the thing about, um... Well, then again, maybe it's the opposite. The thing about, uh... I, I spend too much time around cha chaotic-aligned people. The thing about Aperture versus Black Mesa. Black Mesa is controlled by a bunch of weirdo faceless goons and uh, a weirdo alien sympathizer. Ugh. Can't like those fucking alien lovers. Yeah. But for real, though, like, the second he gets the ability to, he sells out Earth to aliens. If that changes your answer. Can I just, like, sell out, like, a part over the Earth to aliens? What are you getting in return, Sarah? What do you think is... Are you trying to get a jetpack here? <laughs> no, we have those. No, I just want sweet revenge. Three cheers for it, in fact. Um, so let's talk about the uh, comeuppance. Aperture is run by J. Jonah, J. Jonah Jameson. I want pictures of Spider-Man. That's so not his voice. Come on, you do it. I can't do it. Parker, get in here. I tried. You gotta shout more. That's the thing. Nobody shouts enough to do J. Jonah. Parker, get out of here. You're fired. And then uh, his friend. I don't. You're I don't fired. Know, no, don't, come back. I don't remember what his friend is, but his friend's like, oh, these pictures are great. It's like, Parker, get back in here. You're rehired. It's like the span of a second. There's like zero turnover. What? What a. What um. What alignment is 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 he? Lawful neutral, straight up and Fair down. Enough. You know what his alignment is? Fuck you, Spider Man. His alignment is money. His alignment <laughs> is lawful money. You know, there's a whole lot of people where you could explain their alignment by money. Pockets for one. Pockets. Um. Oh no. Grunkle Stan. Grunkle, yeah. Grunkle Stan's a big one. We were talking about someone who was Grunkle just... Stan's like chaotic money. Yeah. <laughs> That's such an awesome phrase. Chaotic money. Chaotic money is so awesome. I love chaotic money. Now this, this is beautiful. In the words of the man himself. Bingo dingo. Uh, uh -oh. So we've, uh, we've gotten to a weird, dumb... Uh, Sliding puzzle. Okay. Uh, where everything in here will blow up. So if I step on any of the mines, they'll blow up too. No mines there? Guess not. Let me sneak my way through my little frame of it. I stand by what I said. If you want a real LP, go watch Soldier Hawk. As opposed to this fake LP. Yeah. This god mode fake LP. Oops. 
Whoopsie doopsie. So that blast is supposed to what kill What is the me. objective here? I need to get down. And I just realized how to. Hey, you did it. Sure did. Look at that. Those are some good textures. Yeah. Um. Oh, so uh, Black Mesa is the remake of this game, right? Yeah. And it's completely fan-made, which is really cool. Because compared to how Nintendo handles fan remakes, mm -hmm. where, fuck you, don't make it. You're fired now, you know? Mm -hmm. um, you'll never be allowed in the Vatican because you infringed on Nintendo's copyrights. What do you think the Pope thinks of Nintendo? He probably likes it. Hasn't the Pope talked about Pokemon, in fact? You know, that sounds like something he would do. Good old Pope Francis. Our cool new Pope, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. July 4th. That's when this was recording. That's two months ago. Almost exactly, in fact. Wait, was that when we did it last, or? When we when we started this. When we started it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, It might have been uh, a slightly different day. Anyways, it's Black Mesa. I've been trying to get this out. When you're getting into the building. Okay. A security guard stops you, just as in this game. Mm -hmm. And he says something different than what he says in this game and in Half-Life Source, because it's a full remake. Mm -hmm. He says something that implies something so groundbreaking and dramatic about Freeman's character. What do you think it is? You're in the barrel tonight? <laughs> <laughs> No, that line's still in here. He says, oh, you cut the ponytail, sellout. Oh, my God. So the reason that Freeman, as we know him, has that cool short-cropped hairstyle that no one else has in the beard is because he only recently cut his fucking comic book store ponytail. God, there's just... I don't know why... I don't know why people thought that was a good... Like, the low pony. Yeah. Like, even a high pony would have been better. Yeah. So what do you think this is? Does it walk? Give me a guess. Uh, it looks like a like a whale skeleton mask. I'm about to blow your mind. You ready? Okay. Alien. It's a gun. It shoots bees. Is it alive? It's alive. This is organic technology. Mm. Ooh, got the heebies. And if you notice, it actually generates ammunition for free. Does it track? Yes. Shot that guard by mistake. Ooh, Oopsies. it's like those. It's like those. Um, those bull bullets in Who Killed Roger Rabbit. Yeah, those kind of racist bullets. Oh yeah. Because one of them is a normal. Uh, like half the thing is a normal white guy. That's a Granado. The other half is like the uh, that football team, the Redskins. Not a weird racist thing. Don't worry about it. Mm. Honestly, if, if they're just going for it for its own sake, it's pretty accurate to the time. Cartoons didn't give a fuck. They were racist as they wanted to be. What the hell happened there? I got like stuck and broke my leg. Mm. I don't know. Nope, gonna load this one. So one thing about the hive hand, it is very weak. I need to see Freeman with like a sword. That's what the crowbar is for. Okay, it's very weak, but the ammo is free. Can you imagine like a fucking Skyrim and you just have a crowbar and they're like, what was a Jesus? Yeah. It's like that steel, it's been forged by the hands of something inhuman. What could it what could it be? So I learned an awesome pro tip about dealing with these fellas. Mm -hmm. Their AI cannot handle somebody getting up in their face. They want to go reposition, and often they find that they can't, especially if you keep getting in their face. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So if you just keep barreling down on them, they can't do shit to you. Um, 
although I will say I'm pretty sure that that's patched. By the way, we might be quiet, so turn us up if you need to. Um, we're having some issues with my microphone, and I just noticed that my entire LP of a game has weird semi-okay microphone audio because of it. Oh. It's okay. It's a short game. It's five. It's five episodes. Like, did you did you watch the old recordings, or are you talking about this one? Uh, different different game. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, I do a little more troubleshooting whenever you're on the mic. Ah, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I tend to be a lot quieter. So, as you may notice, um, the hive hand is the thing that the aliens use. Do you think that's a, a symbiotic relationship? Yeah, definitely. I shoot for you and... Or you get my hand sweat. It's nutritious. Hey, you know what? Maybe the rest of the LP. Maybe it'll just stay on. You know? So, you may notice that the alien soldiers don't exactly fit in there, but that's okay. This little clown car in there. It's the only way you can get a bunch of big guys into a little small pit place. It's true. So, um, God, this just turns into a shit show towards the end, huh? Yeah, the military is fighting the aliens. The aliens are fighting me. <laughs> Non-stop fun times. More fun than your body has room for, really. You know, that's what I kind of like about Portal. It's all the fun of like Half Life, but yes, a little little chiller. Very much so. Uh, because I will say Half Life One is pretty extreme, and Half Life Two gets fucking dire. Oh. Open it, Barney. I wonder if you need to clean your pop filter. And there's a little stuff on there. Some rusting cat hairs, some fuzz. Honestly, I I don't know how bad for it that is. What do you think, microphone? Do you like all the cat hair? <laughs> this is what we've descended to. <laughs> this is what we think Please is Please, no way of allergies. Oh, these are... That's, that's money. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, we haven't even used these guys. Oh, the friends. These are also, these are also a weapon. The thing is, is that they're very dangerous to everyone involved, including the user. So I'll throw one out here. See? Well, there you go. What, what is that? That's a snark. And you can see that he's Is he trying to get you? Yeah, he's trying to get me. Wait, so the snark came from... I'm him. holding them. Oh. See? Okay. So he's docile when you hold him. He's like our cat. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> I would. Mm. Um, but yeah, one thing that I will say. Uh, they're a very interesting weapon. However, the fact that if they run out of targets and aren't dead, they'll just come at you is well it's in character but it is kind of annoying you know oh you're on seven percent yeah but luckily i turned on god mode again because i'm really just stopped <laughs> where am i going in here dog these things make me feel like i should be jumping up You know what's interesting? Hmm. You're so much better at video games when you aren't recorded. Thank you, Sarah, for lying to the people at home. <laughs> you are! You really are! <laughs> Having, uh... <laughs> at some point in that thought process, I was like, wow, he's having a tough time with video games. So maybe it's when I'm here. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm the opposite of a good luck charm. Bad luck charm. That's You're what that would be. Unfluencer. Yeah. Maybe you're distracted. Maybe I am. Ooh, what are you sneaking for? Oh. You doing a little sneak? That it? No, that can't be it. How could it possibly be? It's 
Sometimes, man, this era of gaming is not fucking signposted well enough. Yeah, I need more, more things lit up. Yeah. More flashing arrows. Well, Gabe, um, Gabe Newell is the director of... I think he's the head director of this game, but he's a big guy. Uh, and I've talked about him in the past. Before. But he's talked about how, like, one of the hardest things to do is to get people to go places in games. And one of the easiest fixes to it is to use light mm -hmm. in any any sense. Because if you put a big old light on something, people are like, oh, I'll go that way. But you you do like the, the LP so far, right? Oh, yeah, it's a good LP. I'm having fun. I'm just a stupid. tank down there is like, fuck! How is he doing this? Stop. It can't be this way. Maybe I've got to just pretty much move in here, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, is you just need to destroy the thing that's shooting you. And not kill yourself in the process. Well, that's okay, look. I can sit on this like a mother hen in her life. Is it blow upable? It's supposed to be. There we go. Oh, you got it. So, yeah. My idea here was uh, to show Sarah the story of Half Life 1, and I forgot how fucking jank it is. I'm like, sure, I'll just buy a normal. <laughs> a decision I could never, ever regret. That's a high hand. So, you can either shoot slowly with that, or you can machine nice. gun them out, but it drains all eight bees? Bees? What if you hear, is that guy saying anything? Uh, we might stand a better chance if we team up. Okay, I'll secure this area. Did you, hear, did you catch that? Let's keep on going. Maybe that unlocked it? Look to the right. Click the button, right? Yeah. Is there a door in here? Hmm. Okay. Mysteries never cease. So go back in there. So the issue is that because I have my wife here, I don't want to pause the LP. But something that I would do a lot, uh, especially if I'm on my own, is I'll just fucking pause my recording and go jerk around on a walkthrough. Hmm. Don't go out there. Don't go out there. Don't do that. Stop that. I think I've got an idea. Okay. Okay. Now I'm tall enough to reach the ladder. Oh. My idea was not going to be that good. Well, we've made progress. All right, Alfred. Girls are watching. Come on. This really reminds me of a thing in... Our grenades fought each other. Did you see that? Yeah. They, they touched in midair. No Romo. No Romo. What? No Romo. No romance. Ah. What do you think about Freeman? Do you think he's abstinence until he dies? Not by choice. <laughs> I have no dick, and I must jerk. <laughs> e Oh yeah, that makes super sense. He's been irradiated like 40 times. That's why he has the weird bee hand now. It'll get the job done. Oh, what job? <laughs> oh. I can offer no claim in, uh, claims to for or against fucking a beehive. <laughs> but I'm gonna come out on a limb here and I'm gonna say, probably not good. <laughs> hey guys. So, uh, if you recall, earlier back in the day, 
we just had regular, like, rando aliens. But as you can see, these guys have huge muscles. They look a lot more physically fit. They have actual weapons and what's more armor. We're called the Vortigons, that's what they're called. Uh, we're called alien slaves and wore, like, little slave bracelets, you know? Mm hmm And they only use their uh, own natural armor, you know? Right. And those guys are, like, a loose equivalent to, like, a fucking side of beef, you know? You're not walking, you're not walking that dog too easy. That's a, that's a problem right there. I'll tell you that for free. Who is he reporting with Robert? So what I'm thinking is maybe I can bring that guard through here. Hey, Kaboo. No smoking. A sniper will come to tell you that's a bad decision. I should even record with Robert, what do you think? Hmm. So, do you remember how he used to record videos when he was, like, 10? Yeah, he did that. Yeah. What, um, what game did he play? He played uh, the N64 Castlevania game, which okay. I've actually been thinking about playing. So, well. I think you should play that with him. I Definitely. Think playing the Castlevania games with him sounds like a, like a pretty good thing. Well, because I've even played some Castlevanias, and I kind of But you would probably get shown up on your own channel. <laughs> well, the thing is, is I, I want to play all the Castlevanias. But I have no experience with a lot of the middle era Castlevanias, or um, the 3D ones. I don't know. I don't know about them. And if I'm gonna recruit an expert on it, that would be great. Now, if only he would only fucking visit us. Only he would. It's less his fault this year. Robert. Okay, I'll cover and last year, you keep forgetting that this pandemic has been two years long. Yeah, but it wasn't like all last year. It was only the. Can you no, yeah. Coming with kids? It started in like January. Yeah, but the restrictions only started in like March. This is the United States government, Sarah. They're gonna jerk their dicks on something for a while. Yeah, fair enough. So you need to unlock. Like this I door, keep, right? I keep calling this year 2020, and I'm like, no, <laughs> 2021. There's gonna be games set during the pandemic. Uh, what's the stranding? I don't know. Really makes you think, doesn't it? No. <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's what I'm talking about. Wounded. <laughs> um. Like like death stranding makes me think in other ways. But. No, I'm just, I'm expecting to see, like, some, like, video game about how isolated, you know, people feel with the yeah. pandemic or something like that. Because, I mean, you think about it, it was it's, it's pretty fucking traumatic for everyone. Especially the people who have had loved ones die, but, like, um, I don't mean to bring down the mood, but, like. Yeah, so my grandfather said that he had <laughs> watched one of his best friends die. <laughs> No, but like you know, it's just it's it's just overall like traumatic because we've never like faced anything like that, and um and you know, being an introvert, I was like, oh, I'm fine, and like for a while I was, and then it's like, huh, social interaction really is super important, huh? Hmm. Like I want to be a hermit by choice, not because uh yeah people won't wear masks. Anyway, that's my controversial opinion of the day. That shouldn't be contra controversial. Well, you know. This is why I have the J on the uh, Myers Briggs test. You've been blowing people up about that. Maybe. I just, I love it. I love how it's the new astrology. Earlier, uh, I told Alfred, um, you know, the Myers Briggs really is the new astrology, except you know it has like grounds. 
and and he said and he said uh you know yeah no astrology doesn't have any grounds we both looked at each other and we're like it has ups it's true we did this it only has ups cue the laugh track you need one of those you need like a little like soundboard or whatever they're called get back here now it's your turn Ooh, actually, you stay here. What are you been doing? No, keep going. Okay. I just might need it later, that's all. <laughs> you use that thing more than me. I do. <laughs> I gotta say, maybe it's my fault for stopping for two months. I should stop this baby. How are you supposed to play this normal? Uh, you're supposed to be... good. Oh, you know what we should get for LPs? Hmm. A kazoo. I think I'd add a little flavor. I think you just want a soundboard, you know? Yeah, but like, you know, I kind of also just want to be able to make the sounds myself. Wait, maybe it's this. Doi. <laughs> what? Doi. What happened to you guys? Bum, 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 bum. So how are you feeling about Half Life and its story so far? Um. I feel like it's gotten across already. Okay. Black Mesa bad. Well, the I will say, the fact that we're in, like... Halo does something very smart. And I'm not talking about Half-Life, I'm talking about Halo, in case you're worried that your brain just broke. Mm -hmm. Half-Life does something very intelligent, where you are caught not in the middle of a con like, conflict that you are a part of. Honest? You are in a conflict that you are not a part of. This whole thing could be the United States military fights. What do you think this thing does? Does it warp you to a different planet? Can try? Yes. <gasps> wow! It's a sonic boom bounce pad. That guy got it hard. Holy shit. Babe, go on that trampoline again. Hold on, look at how fucking hard this guy got. That's pierced right through the liver. Sarah. You're welcome. It's all worth it in the end, guys. You. There's technique when it comes to a, 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 um, what do you call this again? Slide whistle. A slide whistle. Because it just sounds funny if you blow it too long. Fucking snarks. Oh, they're so cute. They think you're your mom. They're your, that you are their mama. No, they think I'm prey. That's correct. So, um, yeah, something that isn't just so weak and delicious. Oh, hey guys. I know what you wish you could say, <laughs> but can't because of your job that might see this. Oh, my job won't see this. Oh, your job won't care if you call me submissive and breedable in front of the whole internet. Probably not. Oh, I don't hear a lot of confidence in that, probably. <laughs> Peek -a -boo. Oh, thanks. Hey, I could probably do whatever I want in my, in my off time as long as I do a good job at work. Yeah. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, uh, I do really like the Half-Life vibe of, uh, it's not done, being caught in between a fight between multiple, like, 
groups. Like the United States government and a big pharmaceutical company. Uh, like the United States government and a big science corp. That's, and space aliens. That's the best type of video games where it's like, it's not... Last of Us thinks they're so fucking smart. Last of Us is like, oh, what if humans are the fucking real mon? And they're it's society. As, oh, society. What if, what if it's just us? And Resident Evil, 20 fucking years before you, anyone even thought about the last. Hey, bus. it's corporations, it corporations who take jackass. advantage who take advantage of small people. It was always corporations. Wow, that guy got it so hard. Uh oh. It'd be great if you could like look at Freeman's face and he like has bee stings like in fucking uh, Metal Gear Solid 3. Do you think the third hand is like specifically for handshakes? I I have no idea. It appears to be how they channel their electricity. So it's also like a sensory organ because mm. they can sense through electricity. Isn't that who told us that deer could sit? Who could see in ultraviolet? Uh, Joe. Yeah, Joe told us that. So cool to me. This is this is a new Joe, not not dead Joe, by the way. For long time watchers of the channel, this is not the guy I know who died. Named Joe. Different Joe. This is a new Joe. And this Joe happens to be a woman as well. Oh yeah. Woman Joe. And yeah, there's woman Joe and there's dead Joe. The two genders. Woman and dead. Mm -hmm. That guy's such a dick. Hey, do you know what the number one reason of, um... Of oh, did you see a guy? What? what he what? threw a little fucking satchel charge in here and slammed the hatch on me as I was trying to go through my little safety pipe. <laughs> oh, that guy got fucked to death by head crabs. Good job, boys. Um, do you know what the number one cause of anemia and men is? Uh, what? Take a guess. Too much red meat? No, that's... Too little red meat. No, that's women. Women. They don't take iron supplements? Nope. Blood loss. <laughs> I feel like that almost shouldn't count. No, it counts. I feel like anemia is anemia and blood loss is fucking blood loss. No, no, no. Anemia just means, like, lack of fucking blood. Yeah, it's anemia. Yeah. But, like... I didn't say I didn't say iron deficiency. I said anemia. Ah, uh, you're uh -huh. right. I've been fucking tricksied by capricious Faye. I mean, I guess technically you would be iron deficient if you were anemic as well, but. Oh, I'm iron deficient. Why? Oh, my arm got sawed off. But you can be iron deficient and like still have a lot of like red blood cells. So. What does that mean? What do you? What do I want? I got a game over message I've never seen before. Oh, what did it say? Subject failed to utilize. Human something something. You want to bake cookies after this? Oh, yeah, sure. I feel like I'm flying blind here. I have no idea where. So one thing that I will say about Half-Life, which is why I really, really wanted to do this, a lot of people fucking hate the ending of Half-Life. And I feel like part of that is because of how it ends. Don't give it away. Can I say it's a cliffhanger? Okay, yeah. Okay, well, then it's a big fucking cliffhanger. I actually don't remember the ending. You didn't see it. I didn't see it. I thought I remember watching a little bit of Half-Life with you. No, yeah, we never watched it. Right, I was just watching Freeman's Mine, right. And we also didn't finish it. Oh, that guy needs to be alive to unlock this. And he got shot. I see, I see. So what the hell are you supposed to do if that guy dies? Oh, you get a game over. Oh, okay. There, That was the game over I got. It was like, Freeman uh, was unable to effectively utilize human subjects. Um, although I will say that does say something very important. It was not failure that caused me. What happened was, let me back up. On the game over screen, it says evaluation. 
There's nothing actually there that killed me, as you said. I wasn't shot or stabbed to death, because that's a pretty open and shut case for, you know, a game over. What happened was, a guy that was supposed to stay alive didn't. And then something mysteriously said, Freeman failed, evaluation insufficient. You know? Hey. Yeah. Aren't mesas those, like, ge geological rocks? Those rocks with flat tops. They're not mountains. Yeah, like that? Yeah. I disconnected that. So you would... So Black Mesa... <laughs> I connected them! What you're saying is Black Mesa is built... At... Around mesas. Ah! Boy, you're gonna shit your pants when I tell you what Portal's about. <laughs> <laughs> Look, this guy gets to play train conductor. Ding, ding, bridge up. How did that guy live? Because I fucking spoon-fed him. Oh, boy! Oh, my God! Those guys died so gnarly! They had no idea what was happening! Oh, there's some big boys. A gargantua just fucking sandwiched them between the wall. You know, I like your reaction to him. What? Run. Yeah. Where do I get off trying to fight that fucking thing? I mean, I know I'm in God mode, but... So this is what you would do. You would run. Yeah. This thing's fun. If I saw that thing, I would just fucking turn over and show it my soft belly. Here I am. <laughs> so I don't know if you can hear that guy for shit. But he says we're pulling out. And we have, this is the thing that Half-Life does a lot. It's kind of a puzzle. And it's kind of a tech thing, you know? Oh, you're doing that. Yeah. Like, look at Understood. this. Understood. You can manipulate this thing. You can, you know, play Battleship with it. Ooh, boop. Boop, 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 boop. And yeah, you need to do it to blow up this thing. Other than that, not really important, but that's okay. You're doing such a good job. Thank you. I like this texture here. Yeah, it is. It's like a little moss grow. Pardon me, sir. <laughs> he had business to attend to. <laughs> it did not involve you. Oh god, it involved you. Let me see if I can get something to work. Actually. I've never done this before. His coloring is beautiful. I would love to have like a model of this guy. Yeah. So, this is what this thing does. You can charge it up, right? Mm-hmm. It worked! All right. Well, hmm. So just so we're clear, are we finishing this thing? Like this game? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna beat this game. No, like like now. Uh, maybe not tonight. Oh, okay. Um, another thing that I will say. Here's the reason why I didn't just show you a synopsis of this game or let you watch Freeman talk, right? Mm-hmm. Like 90% of the cool stuff in this game is at the very end. Oh, you can actually see it on there. That's cool. Um, this game has a like subversive twist ending, you know? Mm-hmm. And that was that was what I really wanted you to see going into Half-Life 2. So how much more of the game do we have right now? Not very much. Why don't we just finish it tonight? Hey, I got nothing to do. You got nothing to do. Sure. Well, let's play a little Half-Life. What? Just count as a date. Y'all count this as a date? Woo! If my 14-year-old self could look nine years into the future.
I don't know. I think I would literally just jizz my pants. <laughs> so you're making my job a lot harder. I remember 14-year-old you. What about it? You were small and cute. I was not. You were small and cute. I was like the tallest kid in whatever grade I was Aww, in. Aw, small and cute. I'm neither cute nor tiny. Man, that was a terrible Dante basketball. That was when you were back that was back when you were trying on personalities. <laughs> oh hey, we're at a new chapter. <laughs> Great, we can pause the stupid recording. <laughs> you don't want to talk about it? No, we can talk about it when we're not recording. I was like, I was like, I was like, hey, man. And he's like, hey. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. What I ever put you on <laughs> We need to end the episode. We've been going for almost an hour, actually. <laughs> That's why I'm, I'm Dark it. Claw, never winter. That, that was not my fucking character. That was Robert's character. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, I was too. Anyway, I've been Alfred. Don't look into the camera like you're on the fucking <laughs> office. And I've been Sarah. This has been Half Life One. Bye. Bye.